Some people don't like anime. Well, why not? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Weekday 1-Up. My face looks really red on the camera. Your face is really red in general. Is it really red? Like, more red than normal? Eh, it's a little red. I'm self-conscious about my red face right now. I look like... Yeah, you look You look like... You look maybe like, it's because I can't see it, but I look like a freaking tomato. You look like Senpai noticed you. Well, Senpai did notice me today, so maybe that's why. Just kidding. I saw somebody on my friends list the other day, right? So, who Senpai am I? Because I need to start noticing you people. And I was like, I kind of want to write that. I want to know who Senpai am. I would Sad thing know. is, I already know a few people who Senpai am, Same. but it's all I know, from... I know one person. It's well, all. everything I know is, like, viewers of my convention reviews channel who then will decide to make their own channels, and they always write me, and every time they write me, they call me Senpai. I only know one. It was the one person from the time we streamed, and they, she called both of us Senpais. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, She and she was like, my Senpais noticed me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've already got a few senpais, but will I ever notice them? I've not decided yet. I guess I kind of noticed them since I talked about them. Jared Leto was my senpai. My senpai is Mike Shinoda. Throwing it back! Lincoln Park. If you've never heard of him, you should check him out. But, uh, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about anime and explaining it to people who don't know what it is. Because most people, if you don't know, let's take our friend Drew, for example. Drew! Drew be be doo <laughs> <laughs> Just that much. Drew! Yes! He's a person I know. I do know Drew. I saw him the other day. I saw him yesterday. Yeah, me too. What? What were we doing? Uh, we, we were, were recording going, the new Nakama cast, which is you out, check out yesterday. Uh, it's out today. Yeah. It's out today. Is it Wednesday? I was slow. Oh. It's going to be out it came today. out late. <laughs> come on. Man. Should we just make it come out on Thursdays instead? Because I feel like you always rush it. We probably should. Because Thursdays, do we don't work until night. I have all day to like work on it. Just do it on Thursdays. It's coming out on Thursdays now. So it's out today. But what were you saying about Drew? But Drew, Drew, -do -do? Drew, he got into anime late. And when he got into it, he was telling people at his work or something. And they were like, oh, you watched that hentai porn stuff? We've talked about that. Well, actually, the way time. it started was I told Drew, you should watch anime. And he was like... Bro, that's gross, bro. I'm not a pervert. Mm. And I was like, what? And he was like, that stuff's like porn, bro. And I was like, no. I didn't know Drew thought this. Yeah. And then you gave him what show? To so, I'm sorry, dude. I'm never going to let you live this down. I told Drew to watch High School of the Dead. After you said anime is not perverted. Because I forgot. I saw how little I see fan servers. We talked about this. Like, I knew it was there. But when I thought about the show... I thought about a cool anime, I was like, that one's really cool. Like, he likes zombies, like, it's got a good story, the fighting's good. I just spaced that it was so etchy. It is. So etchy. so heavy etchy. But, anyway, when you're trying to explain anime to people, um, you can tell them many different things. First off, a lot of them are going to be like, oh, you watch that anime porn hentai the stuff? The first thing you do is you lie. You tell them, no, it's not porn. It's not, but they're going to think it is, but you lie. You'd be like, no, there's none of that stuff in there. Like, And you also lie and say, no, I don't think, I don't have crushes on anime girls. What are you talking about? That's a bold face lie. And then later in life you go, well, I'm, I was lying. <laughs> I'm attracted to these anime girls. I was lying. I have like three waifu. Yeah, I got like three waifus. I got like three side anime chicks. Like, I mean, I'm don't tell the waifus about them, okay? I'm not... <laughs> I'm not trying to go through that right now. Um, I got I got kids on the way. <laughs> I got little anime kids on the way. But at first, you're like, no, nah, man, that's weird. Why would I like anime girls? That's weird. You kind of go to their sensitive side about it. And they're like, oh, I, I thought all the people were, I thought they had waifus and stuff. They don't know the word waifu, but I'm like, I thought all that. And that's another thing. You don't use those words. You don't say waifu. You don't say canon. You don't say senpai. You don't say senpai. You don't say anything weeby. Nothing weeby. Nothing that has traces back to Japanese. You're like, you do argue that it's not a cartoon, though. When they say, that's just a cartoon, you go, no. No. It's so mature. I used to say it was a cartoon. Yeah. Now, I don't say it now because I don't believe it is. 
because it's much different. It's really different. Like I can see why people it's who just don't animated. know it. Yeah, I can see why people who don't know it would say it's a cartoon. And a cartoon doesn't necessarily mean it's childish. But, Family Guy's a cartoon. But in like South Park is a cartoon. But in America, cartoon has taken on a meaning just over time as being like that's not like grown up. Like yes, Family Guy and South Park are grown up, but they're not like grown up stories. Like they're not mature, deep stories. It's just mm-hmm. like they're not. It's see, just for a little entertainment to watch on the side. And when you're explaining it, you know, when people are like, "Okay, <clears throat> well, what anime should we watch?" You know, you tell them. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. That's what you tell them. Guy or girl doesn't matter. That is the, everyone loves it. That is the perfect show to start anybody out on. Yeah, it's not crazy with fan service at all. No. Like, there's literally like one moment where Winry's like taking off her shirt and they stop it. And like, I think I think she takes a bath in that episode too. Well, there's one episode then, and it's deep in. And you're already committed at this point, and like it's just really good. And start them off with Brotherhood because it's got it's newer which i know it sounds bad but it's got the better animation so they'll be like oh this actually looks really good like this is what i expected also it follows the manga well we're not getting into whether brotherhood's better than the original or not but, but um like that i think personally that is the show to start them with um yeah. in my experience it has been let's see how else would you explain anime to someone who, who doesn't know what it's about hmm what else would I say? I'm not. I can't really remember what all I said to Drew. <laughs> I said lots of things to Drew to get him to watch it. Wow. What was the thing? What was the convincing statement you got? You said to Drew. Well, this isn't gonna work for everybody. Well, what was it for Drew? I got him to go to a convention. Uh-huh. <laughs> so wait. if you can get to your friend to go to a convention before they've ever seen anime, wait, he went lie to a to convention them. before he watched. Yeah. It? Lie to them, I like, to... like I lied to Drew, what? and tell them that there's tons and tons of video game stuff there. Which uh, is true, it wasn't mm-hmm. a lie, but mm-hmm. I made it sound like it was more than it was. And then he's like, you s- what happened with Drew, he goes for all the video game stuff. And he gets that, so he's having a good time. But while he's having a good time, he's like, well, these other characters actually look really cool. Like, the people people are cosplaying, this merchandise in this dealer room look cool. Like, everyone seems so into this, I kind of want to be a part of this. And then they go home, and they're like... You know what? I think I'm gonna watch that Brotherhood. At least this is what happened with Drew. And then they marathon through it and like, what else? Give me more now. And then you give them Gurren Lagann, and if they're Drew, they don't watch it and they ignore it and they say it's terrible. And then like a year later, they actually sit down and watch it and love it. But yeah. Um, let's see. Something else you might say is that to explain what it is, tell them like. Explain that it's a Japanese animated thing. Yeah, do explain that. Maybe they don't know that it's Japanese. Like, what is it? Like, all oh, is s- that that Chinese? Is that that stuff on Adult Swim? That Chinese crap, that anime crap? I think Adult Swim ruins anime because Adult Swim content sucks. Mm, you don't think people can tell the difference? I feel like they go, like people who go in, they're like watching Adult Swim to watch Squidberries or something. Do we want those people in the anime community? I think anybody can be in this community. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just I think Adult Swim content is that bad. And I'm like, do I want them in my game? And then what happened? Ninja Slayer combined ad- anime and Adult Swim, and it was terrible. Yeah. Uh, so, there you can say a lot of things. You just need to be open and honest with them. I know I've been sitting here saying a lot of lies, that like you should lie to them. I think you should fib a little. Because if you go in being like, yeah, you're going to love this, you're going to be addicted, you're going to have waifus, you're going to be saying things like, Senpai and canonical and like what? that's the full word for canon. Is it really? Yeah. Canomi- Did you not know that? Canonical. Yeah. That doesn't even sound like canon. Sure it's not canonical? Yeah, that's what I said. I thought you said canonical. No. I thought you said I'm really tired. Okay. Anyway. Don't say words like that. Don't say like don't tell them that they're gonna be so deep into it, I think. Just go in and be like, it's really good entertainment, and I think you'll like it. And another thing I would say is let them borrow it, give it to them somehow. Don't make them have to find it themselves. That's going to be too much work, too much of an entry. They're going to get tired of it and tell them do it. if they got. Ask them if they got Netflix. You know, it doesn't have all the brotherhood. Well, tell them they got. Uh, it. I wanted to say there's plenty, but a lot of people I think it's a bad idea to start them off on subbed anime. I said another thing. Don't start them on subbed anime. You can't ask them. Just have them be honest. If they have any, like, eh, I don't know, then start them on dub. But if they're like, oh, I don't care, then go ahead and do sub. 
But if like they the, if they have even the littlest doubt, then they're gonna be watching it, being like, God, I gotta read. Like my girl, my girl, like she's one of the my girlfriend. She's like one of the few exceptions. She um, I got her on Crunchyroll, and she's gonna start watching Food Wars. Oh, nice. Yeah, she because I explained well, Drew it. and Taylor were both exceptions. They both watched subs with no problem. I forgot he got Taylor into anime, or like getting her into anime, I should say. No, I meant uh, Taylor Van Winkle. Oh. <laughs> He's had her watch a couple things, but not much. Well, that's our mark. Uh, what do you guys think? We're on a tight schedule today, so yeah. sorry for the shorter episode. What do you guys think? How do you get people into anime? What have you said to them before? What worked on you? And uh, let us know in the comments below. With that, we'll move on to... The question of the day. Cobra Dimension. Hey, buddy. Awesome name. I not don't, a, it's not a dimension I want to visit. It's not quite as awesome as Monkey Man Tantan, Tan, but still pretty good. I mean, I'd say second. Well, we see which uh, co-host of this show plays favorites. I just like his name. <laughs> if you could be a dragon slayer, so fairy tale, Z warrior, Dragon Ball Z, Jedi, come on, Star Wars, you knew, Straw Hat, One Piece, or a ninja, Naruto slash... I'm assuming they just mean Naruto because we were talking like big anime popular things. Like there's other ninjas, but I assume they mean like a Naruto ninja, meaning you like have superpowers. There's one I would pick out of all of them, but it's not on the list. Well, then that's not the I one can't. you can pick. What would it be really quick? Shinigami of Bleach. I would want to be a Shinigami. Oh, a Shinigami should have been on this list. I'm messing up. Because you okay, get but to be... off of the list, what um, do you pick? Dragon Slayer. Really? Uh-huh. Why? Because I like dragons a lot, and I think it'd be cool to have a dragon powers. So tell me about the story you were going to tell me. About. Okay, so I went through a huge fairy tale kick a couple years ago. And me, Nate, and our friend Sam. Now, I went through the fairy tale kick, but it wasn't at the same time as you. Yeah, yours was like two years before me. Yeah, I, I started watching fairy tale on episode one. So I went through it really early. But go ahead and tell. But, um... So we had this little thing because we were all obsessed with this show Fairy Tale, and we were like, "Bro, if we were dragon slayers. What kind would we be?" We got really, really dorky. These are the things you don't tell people that they're gonna be doing when you get them into anime. No, I got you into anime. We didn't even talk about that, but that's okay. Um, maybe another time. Yeah. Um, how did Cody get Dakota into anime? Haven't we talked about that on the on the comic cast? Yeah. Um, maybe we'll talk about it on here. Um, so. So, um, we all came up with each of our own dragon, like what type of dragon slayer we would be and what type of dragon and blah, blah, blah. And Sam and Nate came up with two really cool ones. Uh, Nate came up with the, he eventually, he originally wanted to be the, an like the god dragon or the angel dragon. Which one? Nate. And I was like, Nate, no, I'm not giving you that kind of response, that kind of power. He wants to play Kirby and he wants to be the god dragon. Yeah. Thinks he can have it all. So he, it was something like God Dragon. I was like, how about the... Doesn't he play Majin Buu in Budokai Tenkaichi 3? Kid oh, Buu? I don't remember. He just wants OP all the time. Um, I'm telling you, Nate's cheap. But I said, Nate, no, I'm not giving you that. How about Light? You can be the Light Dragon. He's like, ooh, that's cool. Okay, but what's yours? Uh, We're on a tight schedule, remember? Um, we still got two minutes. Um, yeah, but I still gotta talk. Oh, mine was... <laughs> The Diamond Dragon. I still think that's cool. That's kind of cool, man. And I even had, like, you know how God Jiel, he's like, Iron Dragon Fist. And Natsu's like, Diamond Dragon Fist? It was actually Diamond Dragon Crystal Fist. And oh, you I, ruined it. Uh, <laughs> Crystal Fist? No, no, because Natsu's always like, uh, uh, Fire Dragon Iron Fist, or whatever he says. So there's like, bah, 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 bah. So I was like, I gotta add something. And so it's got you. So that when you're in the show and they have your but songs, no, see, they what, can make it really cool. So, like, what would happen? So, you know, <clears throat> Godzilla's arm turns, like, metal and shit. And Natsu's all turns into, like, fire and scaly. Mine would just, like, turn into, like... Remember Ben 10 when he would turn into the big eye? The, yeah. Yeah, that's what my arm would do. And I'd be like, Diamond Dragon Fist. Okay, I would be a uh, straw hat. You knew I was going to say that, right? Yeah. It should be pretty obvious. I've talked many times before about how One Piece is my favorite anime. On the planet. Ernimer. And uh, I've talked about how I truly believe that I should have been born a pirate and may have been born a pirate in a past life. Uh, or, like, just an adventure of the sea, because I don't know if I'm about, like, killing people. <laughs> but maybe as a, in another life, I was. Maybe you'd rather be a, pi a privateer. That's a pirate. That's distinction by the government. They do the same thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'd be that. I mean, then I get government uh, then I get, then respect. Get, and government I'm like money. a Shichibukai. A what? Seven Warlords of the Sea. Uh, I thought you were watching the sub. That's what they're called in the sub. I haven't made it to the... Oh. I'm talking about that. Uh, okay, well... That's it. What would you guys be out of that that list? I know Z Warrior sounds really awesome, but if you it's but, too overpowered for me. It's too much. I'd rather just sail the seas, man, with Luffy. And plus, even if you're a Z Warrior, no, I'd probably be Luffy. I like to think that. If you, even if you're a Z Warrior, the the only the only thing you got is you're you're not gonna be a Saiyan. Not necessarily. Okay, well. You guys can follow us right here on Cody Reviews on everything Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and di- what? I'm Mr. Director for Snapchat, underscore Director for Snapchat and Twitter. I'm Mr. Dot Director for Instagram. It's in the link in the description below. Can you change that on Instagram? I uh, probably can. I just don't like underscore. Yeah, but now it's going to become your thing. I know. And finally, don't forget that when you share this, you can hashtag WD1. And that'll help us out because we can find it. We don't get a lot of shares, guys. <laughs> that sounds really sad, but uh, we don't. <laughs> we don't get shares, man. Share us. Uh, screen cap us, do whatever you want, because you don't got to do it, you know, but I think it'd be cool. You should have sent us in fan art. The reason we ask you guys to do this stuff isn't because we're, like, selfish and we're like, yeah, share us. It's because, like, we just want to make the community grow and, like, have the community be connected and mm-hmm. have fun with each other. Like, it just sounds cool. So we're that's not, why we we're not in it to be like we need fans, we need fans. We just like now that we've got people watching, why not like help the community grow? You know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay nerdy. Hashtag I already did that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and read the description to find our other channels plus our Twitch and more. Nice, bro. Could you just keep that in. <laughs>